Greetings comrades. Before we get into this, let's have a good look at the terminology used in the study design. So we're looking at the final key knowledge area of unit three right here. And there's a bit to be mindful of here because this dot point starts off by talking about the use of mnemonics in a written culture to enhance encoding, storage and retrieval of info. But then it says compared with the use of mnemonics in an oral culture, specifically the use of song lines. So that point about the comparison, we need to be mindful of that. So in terms of the comparison between the three mnemonics that we need to know for a written culture and the one for an oral culture, let's examine the common ground. So first of all, mnemonics. They are techniques that we use to enhance memory. How? Well, they enhance the encoding process, the transfer from short-term memory to long-term memory. How do they do this? Well, they connect the new material with existing material that's already stored in LTM. And what this does is it creates more elaborate and durable neural networks for the storage of that new material. And then the payoff for this is that we generate more cues which will be very helpful when we're trying to retrieve the information. So whether that the cue is the first letter, if we're talking acronyms and acrostics, a location, if we're talking about the method of Loki, or using a multimodal approach, which is what we do with songlines. I'm going to give a shout out to VCAR here because there is some gold on the website in terms of some of the support material for the new content on the study design. So here's a screenshot that I've taken and I just want to unpack this to a degree. You might want to freeze this on your screen to uh, process it. So it starts by saying that a sung narrative is almost always related to a location key point and that these locations uh, not random, but they're linked by lines. And that's where we get the terminology song lines. And so therefore these song lines are short narratives associated with locations that can be physically walked or imagined. We could go on a mental journey. And very useful down this last paragraph here because it says that there's, that's just like the Loki method, but it emphasizes the difference. It says that at each location, the knowledge is performed using song and movement, and this, and therefore they add more detail. There's more detail added at each location. And so there's your point of difference with the Loki method, which is more linear in approach, because at each location, we just associate that location with an item. Uh, and then we metaphorically in our mind move on to the next location, whereas song lines it goes at a deeper level because we're just literally uh, attaching knowledge at each location. And, and the further we get on our mental journey, the deeper we go with that knowledge. So it's, it's a far more elaborate um, system in terms of the use of a mnemonic. Now, that's pretty heavy in terms of a student trying to grasp this in a way so that they can walk into the exam with confidence, knowing that they can respond to an exam style question. So let me break it down for you. This relates to oral cultures. Oral cultures need a system to convey knowledge from generation to generation. And a very effective means of this is song lines, which use dance, repetition, music, to basically pair information with a root, a journey, or key knowledge, spiritual knowledge, for instance. And so this process of using dance, music, and repetition enhances the encoding, storage, and retrieval. And let's just unpack those three points, which are emphasized in the study design terminology. So first point, the encoding process. In an oral culture, we use a multimodal approach. Multimodal means we're using a combination. In this case of a story, a song, a dance, a rhythm, etc., to remember a set of locations or knowledge. 
And this multimodal approach leads to a deeper form of encoding when we transfer from STM to LTM. As a result of this, we get a very effective storage mechanism by creating very elaborate neural networks, by activating the hippocampus, which is your key brain structure that is responsible for your transfer of semantic information largely to um, the neocortex where it will be stored. And then finally, in terms of the retrieval, when we need to remember that root or that spiritual knowledge, we simply activate our song line through our music, dance and rhythm, and therefore we're able to retrieve that knowledge or that root more effectively.